Jordan has done fantastic and he's probably a Liverpool legend. Tier two. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, he's won everything he can at your club. But Steven Gerrard, he was a, a, a leader. And when things weren't going right, he would put that team on his back. He would rally the troops in the dressing room, before the game, after the game, even in training. I used to hate being on his team. On a Monday and a Tuesday, you've got the Wednesday off, you want to just cruise through training. I was more scared of Steven Gerrard mm-hmm. than the gaffer. Really? Yeah. What, on the pitch or before it? Or Everywhere, what? Around, the, around, the, around the place. Yeah. You know, I didn't really want to... I, 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 Steve, I, I would look at him as the manager. He had that much power at Liverpool. And he would sometimes give the team talks. Rafa would give out little instructions, you know, where you, you know, tactics. But then that was it. But then Steven steps up, big mm. game. And when he talks, he gets the whole attention of every, every single player in that room. Mm. And on that pitch, you would see him from box to box, put in a 50-50 challenge, the fan will get up, and then all the fans will get up, and then the players see that. And they go, oh my God, and they start following suit. The goals that Stephen would score, you know, the Champions League, bringing, running them back, winning it in Istanbul to, uh, against Olympiacos, that last minute goal for them to qualify. Mm. He's done so much for that club. See, I don't, I don't doubt when Rory comes out and says, you know, Henderson's a big captain. I don't, I don't doubt that he thinks Henderson's a great captain. But the big difference for my money is I, I was always told as a captain you have to lead by example, right? Now, some of the examples you've given are Stephen Gerrard is stepping up. I instantly think of the cup final against West Ham, right? Where Stephen Gerrard was not only the captain, the leader, right, the legend, but also grabbed that grabbed that game by the scruff and scored you know a ridiculous goal yeah. right near the end to to basically get his team over the line. I know it finished in a draw and he went to penalties, but without without Gerard doing that, they lose that game. How many times Jordan, he done that? Jordan Henderson doesn't do that. How many times do you see Stephen? How Too many times many. he done that for Liverpool? Too many. How many and, times? And that's what a captain needs to do: lead by example. You look you look at Stephen Ger- Gerrard's highlights, phenomenal. Mm. And you go on YouTube or wherever and look at Henderson's. There's no, there's there's no, no comparison. comparison is no. There? Look, Jordan Henderson Don't, may be a good captain. You might be yeah. good at gene people up and so But so was Steven Gerrard. The difference is Gerrard went the extra step and scored ridiculous goals when they needed it as well. And, and we talk about captains as well. Henderson's never really been a regular for England. Stephen G was. Mm. Yes, again, uh, Henderson's won a lot with Liverpool. But Henderson was in a better team. Bruno Fernandes has now been made the Manchester United captain. Uh, is he the right person, do you think, to replace Harry Maguire? Well, we did last season. He mainly he was the captain, really, wasn't he, last season. So, And then where they've got to, Champions League, top four. You can't look away from that. You can't shy away from that. Mm. For them to get in the in the Champions League spot is a great achievement. Um, so you may as well keep it with him. You know, if it's not... Not, if the record's not broke, you don't fix it. Name name some great captains you played under. So Stephen Gerrard, was he always your captain at Liverpool? Always a captain. Okay, who else do you play uh, under? Um, Patrick Vieira. Oh, wow. Okay, what was he like as a captain? He was fierce. Yeah, he was a... Not only was he a, a tough guy on the pitch, he was also so down-to-earth and friendly off the pitch in the changing room. Um, but if you, again, wasn't pulling your weight, it doesn't matter who you are, I can remember seeing him have a go at Thierry and I was like, whoa, no one does that. Not even Arsene Wenger did. You know, when he's going to strop and throw his hands in and walk off, Arsene would just look at him and like, okay, it's Thierry, but not with Patrick. Um, and that's leadership. Where would he do that? In the game, something's gone wrong or afterwards? Or Tra- before? Training, sometimes oh, wow. in games and in changing room. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Um, he was like, I'm the captain. And Respect- always respected oh, yeah, by yeah, players yeah. like Thierry Henry. Always, always respected, yeah. Always respected. And so you'd have been the young kid at Arsenal, right? I'd be, yeah. How old were you when Vieira was your captain? Um, probably 20. Wow, okay. 19, and 20. Do you think that changed your outlook? Do you think that changed you as a player, having someone like that to look up to? It was great, yeah. Um, I, I was always nervous, though. I was always nerv- nervous training and playing around those guys. You know, Every time I got the ball, I didn't want to be too fancy or express myself too much. I'm just like, uh, where, where's, where's, Piat- where's, where's Patrick? Where's um, Thierry? Where, where's Dennis Bergkamp? Let's give it to them. Um, mm. Until I earn that right. 
Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.